Imagine John, a new trader, high on his first 50% profit. Excited, he doubles down, but the market crashes, wiping out his account. This, my friends, is greed's bite. It's a dangerous game where the stakes are high and the losses can be devastating. Today we tame it and grow your small account steadily. Forget millions overnight. Studies show only 1% consistently profit long-term, says a UC Berkeley study. That's right, the world of trading is not a genie lamp. It's a chessboard where strategy, patience, and realistic expectations are your winning moves. So, let's debunk the hype, shall we? Contrary to what you may have heard, the reality of trading is not about sudden windfalls. It's about consistent, incremental gains. Think of it as a marathon, not a sprint. Your goal as a new trader should be modest, but consistent profits. How modest? Aim for 1-2% to per trade. That may sound small, but it adds up. If you can consistently achieve this, you could be looking at a 10-20% to return on your investment monthly. Remember, in the world of trading, slow and steady wins the race. Realistic goals for you? 1-2% to per trade, 10-20% to monthly. Identify the enemy, holding losers hoping for miracles like Lisa, who watched her $50 stock plummet to $8, refusing to cut her losses. It's a common tale, a trader clinging to a sinking ship, hoping it'll magically float again. But hope isn't a strategy. It's a silent killer, feeding your greed monster. Lisa's story is a stark reminder of why stop-loss orders are crucial. They're your safety net when trades go south. Set a stop-loss order at a price point that, if reached, will automatically trigger a sell order. This way, even if your stock plummets while you're away, your losses are controlled. Let's talk about FOMO, the fear of missing out. It's easy to get lured into risky trades when you see others boasting about their big wins. But remember, Sarah? She followed the hype and blew her account. Don't be like Sarah. The market doesn't care about your FOMO. It doesn't care about hype. It's cold. It's rational. It rewards analysis, not impulses. So how do you combat greed? First, identify it. Then, arm yourself with stop-loss orders and a rational mind. Don't chase the market. Don't hold losers hoping for miracles. Don't follow the hype. Analyze, strategize, don't blindly follow. Greed is a monster, yes, but with the right tools you can tame it, and in doing so protect your capital and grow your small account steadily. Picture this. You buy at $10, set a 20% target at $12, sell, and it climbs to $15. Now your mind might be screaming, should have held. But let's flip the script. What if after you sold, the market took a nosedive? Suddenly, your decision to take profits doesn't seem so bad, does it? This is the essence of mastering the art of taking profits. It's not about chasing the highest highs or lamenting the missed opportunities. It's about securing gains, no matter how small, and avoiding unnecessary risks. It's about understanding that the market is unpredictable and volatile, and that taking calculated risks is the key to long-term success. So the next time you find yourself second-guessing a decision to take profits, remember this. Small wins may not seem like much in isolation, but they compound over time. Taking profits secures gains, chasing risks losses. Celebrate small wins, they compound over time. Risk Management First, Tom, a struggling trader, transformed when he prioritized capital preservation. He was like many of us, chasing the thrill of a big win, often forgetting the flip side, the potential for a big loss. But Tom's trading habits took a turn for the better when he shifted his focus from making a quick buck to protecting his capital. He reduced the number of trades he made, which lowered his exposure to risk. He also improved his risk-reward ratio, making sure that the potential profit of a trade justified the risk. And crucially, he started keeping a trading journal, a record of all his trades, the thought process behind them, and their outcomes. This allowed him to learn from his mistakes and successes. And guess what? Tom started to see consistent profits. So, take a leaf out of Tom's book, Prioritize Risk Before Rewards. Stick to your predefined trading plan based on analysis and risk management, not gut feelings. Warren Buffett said, The stock market is a device for transferring money from the impatient to the patient. In trading, embracing a long-term mindset is crucial. 
Remember, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Celebrate incremental progress and remember, continuous learning is key. Shortcuts lead to pitfalls. Patience reaps rewards. Download my free Greed Slayer checklist for practical tips to implement these strategies in your next trade. For deeper dives into conquering trading vices, check out my blog posts, ebooks, and courses. Don't let greed be your downfall. Tame it, learn, grow, and start building your trading success story today.